three hundred and sixty-five days, three hundred and sixty-five messages God has in store for you each day. No fears. Written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Welcome and good day to you. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, July seventh, twenty twenty-two. Today's devotional is titled "Connecting the Dots." Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your blessings. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, and may we share the joy of salvation with others. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's Bible text is found in Romans chapter twelve, verse two, and it says, "Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person." By changing the way you think, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. There is something within each of us that makes us look for patterns, connecting events, to make sense of them. As if life were one of those drawings where you have to connect the dots. We trace connecting lines between what people say and what they think, between events that are out of our control in God's will. Even when we look at the stars in the sky, we connect dots by drawing constellations: the Southern Cross, the Great Bear, Orion's sword. Our desire to find meaning in what happens to us plays an important role. However, like impatient children, we sometimes connect the dots the wrong way. Then, instead of ending up with a beautiful drawing of a bear, we end up with a far from understandable mess. Your coworkers go out to lunch, but they do not invite you. How do you interpret that? If you spend lunch time wondering what they have against you, when they come back, it is very likely you will treat them disdainfully. Then, what might have been a simple oversight without bad intentions becomes real distancing. Your husband forgets to take out the trash again. How do you connect the dots? If you decide it means he does not care about you and is hopelessly selfish, you will probably end up having a fight. Our interpretations modify our behavior, and can generate self-fulfilling prophecies. It is important to remember that although we can see actions, we cannot see other people's motivations. Only God knows what other people think. Writes Jerry Scissero in *The Emotionally Healthy Woman*. However, we often play we are God when we assume things about others or interpret a behavior without checking the facts. Those assumptions bring a lot of unnecessary pain and confusion. Since we cannot read other people's minds unless we ask them or verify the facts. We will end up with a scribble. With this in mind, let us pray. Lord, please give me the patience and wisdom I need so as to not jump to hasty conclusions. I need humility to ask and check facts adequately and at the right time, and that way make sure I have the right perspective. Only you know other people's secrets and motives. Give me the caution and humility to avoid unnecessary quarrels. Amen.